Hey YouTube, Sack Guy here. I'm going to do a little review today of one of my favorite knives. This is the first locking knife that I had, a lockback knife that I, I ever got. The top one here is the knife I bought in 1973 um, when I went to Alaska. And then it's a buck folding 110 and this is the 50th anniversary that I bought last year I wanted to show a little bit of difference between the two how much the knife has changed over the years Al Buck first designed the folding hunter uh, buck model 110 in 1963 had uh, got it manufactured and started selling it in 1964. Uh, last year was the 50th anniversary. I saw this knife at Walmart and bought it. Now this knife I bought at the exchange up in Alaska in 1973 for $12. I got this one at Walmart last year for just over fifty dollars I've seen the prices on it up to like 75 also in some places so now originally the 110 came in a leather sheath this is the original sheath and you can just barely see right here imprinted in the leather buck and then it has buck on the snap this sheath has been used a bit as I said I bought it in 1973 the whole year I was remote this was on my belt when I uh, went to my next assignment it was a mobile unit whenever I went to the field whoop, here it went that was on my still on my belt and then through my first two tours in the Air Force I use this knife a lot. Um, used it in survival school when I went to uh, air crew survival and so on. Now the knife now is coming in a nylon sheath. A Kagura nylon still snap closure. This sheath instead of just having, dang it, Now instead of just having a single belt loop on the back, this can be carried or, uh, vertically or it's got the loops here to where you can carry the knife horizontally, whichever you prefer. I don't know how long or how durable these uh, nylon sheets are. Uh, as I said, my original had the leather sheath and as I said since 1973 it's been hanging in there now the specs on the knife overall the knife is nine inches long when opened closed it's five inches the blade is three and a quarter inches long now, on my original, let's see if we can focus in there on that. You'll see that it says Buck USA on the newer ones. Well, this is the 50th anniversary. It says Buck USA, and it's got the fifth, 50th anniversary logo on there. And then it's got the 50th anniversary here. They're both basically the same, um, both weigh about the same. My original 1973 knife is right at 7 ounces. The newer ones are 7.2 ounces. Now you'll notice a little bit difference other than the aging. 
the edges around here on the newer knife are rounded makes it much more comfortable for cutting uh, and using it for a long period of time the wood is diamond wood I was originally told that it was rosewood on my knife but yeah, the grains a little bit different so it could be a, a different but I think it's uh, both of them are the diamond wood one of the main differences that I noticed this has three pins holding the scale on mine has two brass pins whereas this has three brass pins they both have the stainless steel pin going through for the pivot on the lock and as you can see and then look here you can see where I've used it as a light hammer a couple times with all the dings right here but sometimes when that's the only thing you have that's what you use um, this knife has gone through a lot of stuff so <laughs> I've used it for uh, skinning small game all the way up to a brown bear when I was up in Alaska it's held an edge very well the steel on my 1973 is 440C the steel on the uh, 50th anniversary model is 440A I have not used this knife other than a couple times to just test it out. Uh, the edge is pretty good. This knife, I've been able to keep razor sharp and it's held an edge very well. I have no complaints. I've retired it because of the age of the knife. But I really don't want it, you know, to damage it now. Uh, it's a good knife. Uh, keeps going, but it's got sentimental value to me now. I carry uh, different knives now that are quite a bit lighter, uh, down in the three or four ounce range. And that's the only drawback that I have on this knife is the weight. But if I had to pick a knife and you know a belt knife I probably would go with this I've got several uh, fixed blades folders but this knife is very special to me and I would probably go with it well that's it just want to do a quick review on here if you have any comments leave them below have a good day and remember always be prepared